<laughs> All right, my friends. I've got a new piece of gear with a lot of information to unpack. So let me introduce you to it. It's a back roads truck tent. Now, that's going to turn into this. Man, the sun came out. <laughs> but as you see, I've got the poles all in. And uh, of course, it'd be better if it was two people. But I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do it by myself. Now, this tent can be pitched on the ground and then lifted up and put into the truck bed. But I'm going to just go ahead and follow suit with the way the Napier video shows you how to install this tent. All right, now I got the two black poles anchored in the appropriate slots in the back. And uh, I'm going to now also the, there's three buckles on each side. I left them loose because I heard in one of the videos if you tighten them up and have them tight, it stresses out the poles and possibly have a pole. These are fiberglass poles as far as I can tell. But anyway, so the straps are not anchored on the sides. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this tent up. I know it's not pretty, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start tweaking and, and buckle it down on the sides. Now you do want this tent over and this V-strap bungee it has a protective cover for your buckle but let's go ahead and buckle this in Now, whatever's done on this side has to be done on the other side. All right, we're getting there. Up there is a vent. And when we get inside, I'll show it to you. But it needs to cover your cab and the truck bed so water will go down between them. As you see, there's three straps and what I've got to do is got to tilt up the tailgate and feed the female part through so we can connect them. All right, here we go. All three of them. This one. One, two, three. Now I'm going to hook this camera. How can I do this? Maybe I can hold it like this in my leg. All right, they all connected <laughs> and pulled somewhat tight. Oh, I oh I did notice they have this rain flap over the over the uh, zippers. That will keep the rain off the zippers but I noticed without a rain fly I noticed these windows here they don't they don't have that rain fly over them so I suspect this could probably take a little rain but the rain fly needs to go on if it's raining all right let's go ahead and remember I told you the kink that was in this uh, a vestibule 
gray pole. I think the reason they did it, I think they had trouble with this one popping and breaking because it's just fiberglass. So they put the kink there and they put the kink over here. Right here. So I, I guess that relieves some of the stress. But let's see if we can get in this thing. Okay. No CM mash is down. Now let's go for the privacy privacy curtain. Okay. Privacy curtains down. Now, taking a look inside. You see there is a little storage uh thing up there that uh, you can hang a lantern all right let's go ahead and get in i got a few things i want to tell you about this tent some air circulating in there now now I wanted to tell you originally when I was um, ordering this tent from Amazon is where I ordered it let me position this camera don't look like it's by right there we go I uh, it was like hundred seventy six dollars less than two hundred dollars and I thought this would be a reasonable way to get into truck camping or car camping if you prefer to say it that way or even RV camping but this seemed to be an entry level to be able to since I had a truck to go ahead and get the uh, uh, truck bed tent but I also noticed down at the uh, bottom they had alternate pricing and they had a, a new used for less than a hundred dollars I think it was ninety two dollars so in a, I was getting ready to order. I did call the company and they said it was still under warranty and everything. So I said, all right, for $92, let me see if I, I would like this. I'm starting to love it, tell you the truth. But anyway, so I ordered that new, uh, used like new. And of course I got it in, I, I checked it over. It was nothing wrong with it, absolutely nothing wrong. But the instructions on in certain these poles were different. The green and the gray was reversed. And I didn't know why, of course, I didn't set it up, so I didn't experience how to do it. But in the videos, YouTube videos I watched, some of the, sometimes they used the green pole down the center, and sometimes they used the gray pole down the center. So I called Napier, and um, the girl explained to me what I got. She said, is your tent green and gray? I mean, green and brown. I said, yes, this is the new like, like uh, used like new. She said, well, that's the older model. And they did reverse those colors, which is what I told you, green will go down to Santa and the vestibule is the gray one. But um, nevertheless, when I, just before I clicked that order use like new, my wife, my wife said, uh, you sure you want to do that? Just, you know, just go ahead and get the new one. And I said, no, I don't even know if I like this. I think I'll just stick with this uh, half price one, the $92 one. And if, you know, I can always send it back which is what I ended up doing and getting this new old model. And I'll put a picture of what the older model looks like. It's got green and brown in it. And it was perfect, there was nothing wrong with it, but I think they did make a few improvements like these little covers on the buckle to keep from scratching your truck. I think these privacy windows in here is new. And uh, I, I'm not sure what the other uh, upgrades they did. But why I brought that up is because a few videos ago, I went through something like this and I made mention that I should have listened to my wife. <laughs> Suddenly, Ben McMillan from uh, Hilltop Packs made a comment, said, said, yes, you should always listen to your wife. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, Ben's not going to say that. Another man's not going to say that to another man to listen to your wife. This just ain't going to happen. So I thought about it and I realized it was Kaylee. It was his wife that made that comment. So I, sh so she ought to enjoy this one. I should have listened to my wife again. <laughs> oh God, I, uh, anyway, I don't, let me di don't digress too much. So back to the tent. 
I honestly, honestly, I got my inspiration from Tom Walker from Falling Walker's World. He did a build out on his Pro Master with his wife Nancy and RVA Hiker Girl. Those two, I've hiked with both of them and camped with both of them. And um, I was impressed. And uh, so actually RVA Hiker Girl influenced me as much as Tom Walker did as far as doing car camping, going to going to uh, state parks, because that was my purpose. My wife said she would go as long as she could get to a bathroom. What, what can I say? So anyway, that was the inspiration for doing this. And now she says she will go, but right now it is too hot. And I agree, I don't even want to go out in 93 degree weather. And that's what it's scheduled for today. I came out early this morning to do this video. So anyway, let's see, what else? Oh, let me it. <laughs> let, I think I covered everything I wanted to. Yeah, let me go ahead and um, install the fly for you. And uh, like I say, if you had two people, it'd be, it would be so much better. But anyway, let me go ahead and install the fly, uh, the rain fly for you. Oh. This V is gonna go to the back where that vent is. It's kind of like a V, so that's the way you put it on. I'd hate to have to put that rain fly on in the rain by myself. Yeah, let me finish this video. I'm, I failed to mention Napier customer service <laughs> was great. I contacted them about a few things and um, Sana, S-A-N-A, -A, was the person that helped me and she would have a wealth of information and she's the one that set me straight about the old model and the and the um, poles, the gray, the green, and the and the brown or gray. She was the one to set me straight. So anyway, thank you, Sana, and I'll see you guys next time.